Hey everybody, it's Stacy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming for the week of April 13th to the 19th. And I am using this kit that was actually our February mystery kit called Chill. And it is a very Netflix and Chill inspired kit. Very like stay at home with lots of food, like snacks and stuff like that, and just chill it out. And that was definitely this week for us. It was totally a relaxing, chilling, kind of doing hobbies type week, and I loved it. This is definitely the week that I really started to embrace just relaxing. I don't know, I've, I've heard from a lot of people that since they've had to be home from COVID that just getting into different hobbies and just enjoying relaxing and taking time off and kind of chilling a little bit more um, has been super enjoyable. And that's definitely been my experience. I know since COVID kind of has started, I kind of have adjusted my work schedule to be more with family, just kind of really puts everything into perspective. So that was definitely my week. But let's get into it. So starting with the bottom washi, I used some Simply Gilded um, Stardust washi. I thought the blue was super nice and I kind of wanted to pull it into the bottom as I did a lot of blue in the spread itself. And then I used our bow head or bottom washi overlay on top of the bottom washi from the kit. I'm going to be using silver washi throughout the entire spread. And I think it turned out super cute. Uh, for my headers, I'm going to be using the pink ones as I didn't have a lot of that color in my icons. It was just a really hard color to match, so I wanted to pull it in a little bit more. And then all of my washi for my washi banner is from Simply Gilded. I tried to do a ton of different ones. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll see that I have been working on my washi swatch book a lot lately. And I've been really trying to pair colors. Not I used to just kind of separate them like bows and non-bows, but then I felt that I was always using just bows. So I've been really trying to use the pattern washi that I get. And yeah, I think this is working out super well. So I've used a lot of different colors, a lot of different patterns, and I'm very happy with how it turns out. So stay tuned because the washi swatch book will be coming um, to a video very soon. Just have to finish it up. Okay, so now I'm just going to put on my date covers along with my full boxes and my overlays. For the overlays in this kit, I'm going to be using a mixture of our bow overlays, the confetti overlays, and some photo corners. And I think they turned out super, super cute. This was a struggle, guys. This corner box is always so hard for me. I don't know why. Like, I always have to get on, like, stand up and get right over top of my planner. I think it's because of how I film, like, the camera is, like, right on the top. And I can't really, like, put my head into view to be able to see it. I bet you if I did it off camera, it would be a lot easier. But let me know if you guys have trouble with that side, too. Because I always find that it's so hard to match like to get straight and I don't know it's always a challenge for me and I'm just gonna scatter my boxes along here I love the movie choices that she put in this art I think it's super super cute I love Grease love love that movie and uh, Pretty Woman love that and Titanic I think is okay it's not not my favorite movie by far but definitely love Grease so super happy with this kit. And then the header overlays that I used were just the star header overlays in silver. And yeah, so I hope you guys were having a good week. I have been really trying to catch up on my planner a little bit. I feel like I say that every time I'm on here, but really, really trying to get going so that we're not in Christmas and I'm planning spring. So hopefully I can get keep going and keep doing that for you guys. Okay, so while I'm just finishing up all the overlays on here, I'm just going to start into the day-to-day. -day. So starting on Monday, I started 
working this day and I used a silhouette machine icon from Be Happy Plans and I thought it was super cute because the outlining of this sticker is pink and so it just kind of brought in that corally color that I was missing a lot throughout the spread and I thought that really matched really well and then I used a script sticker to finish that off and then while I was working this day I was listening to the book The Warlock which was another book in the Nicholas Flamel series that I was listening to and so so good if you guys are Harry Potter fans definitely check out that series it's so so good and then we went to Tim Hortons this day I think this is a trend this week I think I went there so many times this week but you know when it's a busy work week I think this was the weekend before a sale when it's a week before a sale it's crazy and what makes me happy while I'm working is Tim Hortons iced coffee so I definitely went there a lot this week and to mark it this day I use the Tim Hortons icon from Planner Mania and then we went and brought my husband's truck to get repaired he was in an accident a couple weeks prior where he got rear-ended while he was stopped and he was able to get his truck booked in to get the tailgate fixed and so we just had to drop it off and then we thought while we were just out and about we would just kind of drive around we were looking at new vehicles and just kind of cruising around town we, we didn't have a whole lot to do and you couldn't go anywhere during this time so we just drove around um I think we got like Tim Hortons again in the evening while we were driving around just kind of got the kids some timbits and stuff like that so I used a car to mark us driving around and then I came home and had a bath and that me time sticker is from Be Happy Plans super super cute bathtub and then after that I just decided to design and watch Gossip Girl that was definitely the show that I was watching by myself. I still haven't finished it. Um, I have only gotten on season like three, something like that. Wherever they're in college, that's kind of where I kind of stopped watching. Not because it wasn't good, just because I started watching other things and just haven't really watched TV alone. I kind of like to have like a, a show where I watch alone, like the girlier shows, and then shows that I watch with Jake. So. Definitely the show that I watch alone. I don't think I could convince Jake to watch Gossip Girl. On Tuesday, we started the morning off with some um, distance learning, which is my kids at home. My daughter is the only one that is technically in school this year. Uh, my son was in preschool, so he didn't really have a curriculum he had to follow, or my daughter did. And so I was still doing stuff with him. I went to the dollar store and I found like these workbooks that were like age appropriate for both of them and we were working through those especially for the first couple weeks because my daughter's school only gave her um like booklets and stuff after a couple weeks in they kind of had some had to have some time to get kind of organized so while they were doing that we did these booklets and they were awesome we just did a couple pages each day my son was working on like writing his letters and all that kind of stuff so even though he wasn't technically in school he wanted to do exactly what his sister was doing so we did school for both of them and it worked out really well just kind of broke up the, or kind of like started their day and I got to do some one-on-one -on -one time with both of them so that was really good and then to mark my work for the day I used a printer icon from the shop Let's Plan It and I haven't ever gotten stickers from her before, but these are super, super cute. Uh, my friend Daniela actually gifted them to me, and I love them. So I thought that mint color went perfectly. Then again, Tim's, because it's Tuesday, and I need Tim Hortons, right? Please, guys, back me up. I need Tim Hortons. And then I was listening to The Warlock this day. I actually finished the book, so I just used a listen to audiobook sticker to mark that. And that washi is actually from the latest sub box that I just hauled, and I love it. And I thought it was perfect colors with this kit. Then in the evening, I went for a walk with Cheyenne. Um, she went and rode her scooter while I was walking and that was really fun 
and then we came back and watched the show Nailed It. That is like one of my guilty pleasure shows. I love that show. I think it's so hilarious. I laugh and laugh and laugh every time. It's super, super funny. And then when the kids went to bed, I just did some more designing and I watched Community with Jake. I like this deco in this kit because it served a lot of purposes. Like the cine cinema tickets and we have like some remote controls and lots of like snack icons. And I definitely utilized a lot of that for like watching TV. Because I get kind of tired of using the same TV icons and I'm always struggling to find new TV icons. So, by the way, if you have comments for new TV icons, please leave them down below which shops I can get them from because I would love some new ideas. So, the deco was really nice to use for that. On Wednesday, we started our morning with uh, some more distance learning. And then to mark work this day, I used a silhouette machine that is also from Let's Planet. And these are so cute. They're so small and like perfect for quarter boxes. I love it. And then while I was working, I was listening to a podcast. And I think here I'm still listening to the Office Ladies podcast. I think that's what I was listening to. And then after work, I did my meal plan for the week. And then I ended up going grocery shopping. And when I went grocery shopping, I marked that with a Prairie Girl with her little shopping bag. And then this day, I had a plugged ear. This was a thing that I was constantly having problems with. It was like every day, every other day, and it was just so frustrating. My ear be plugged for a couple days on end. There was one stretch where it was like six weeks. And I have since learned that you have to get your ears like cleaned at the doctor once in a while. And so I have now done that. So I'm hoping this now solves my problem. But I had no idea. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, but yeah, I guess live and learn. Um, so to mark the plugged ear, I just used one of the Sick Icon Girls from Stick With The Plans Co. And then in the evening, I watched more Gossip Girl, and I used some more deco to mark the TV show. I broke up a little bit of the space with some Simply Gilded washi, and I really liked the green color, and then there was that pink and white striped. On Thursday, we started the morning again with some distance learning. It was really the best time to do it is first thing in the morning because then I can get right into work and the kids can kind of move on throughout the day. And I know you probably can't really see behind it, but I do like to add pieces of washi from the kit behind it. I don't know. It doesn't really need it, but I think just adding another little section of color is really nice. So. Um, it's not too much space, but I like how it looks. To mark work this day, I used a printer icon and then a work script sticker. And then while I was working, I was watching YouTube, and I used a YouTube icon from my shop. Then I did a lot of laundry this day. I don't usually mark laundry in my planner because I do it every single day, so I must have had a lot of laundry this day if it was enough to mark it. And then in the evening, I had a bath. And I just took the bath icon from the kit and I put a script bath time sticker underneath. And I really like how that looks. I've done it once before and I love it. Then after that, um, I got to color my daughter's hair. She got for her birthday these, they look like almost markers and they um, dye your hair for like very temporary. And so we, she had this Barbie that had like different colored hairs and like these really high pigtails. So she wanted her hair to look like that. So we mimicked it and took a picture. It was really, really cute. And yeah, it was really fun. She got like green and purple and pink and all kinds of colors. So it was pretty neat. And then in the evening, I watched Gossip Girl and I ate all the snacks. So many snacks this day. Probably wasn't a good idea, but I ate a lot of snacks. So that snack icon, um, the chip bag, is from one of our fast food sheets. And then the chill laptop sticker is part of the deco from the kit. On Friday, again, our homeschooling session, distance learning time. And you can't really tell really well with this sticker, but it's actually a super light, uh, like, um, subway tile looking background. So it's a little bit lighter. 
but you can tell better in person as opposed to on the camera. And then to mark work, I used a silhouette sticker and a work script sticker. And this day I had to go and pick up Cheyenne's school learning package. So starting on the Monday would be her first week of actual school packages from the school where we wouldn't have to do our own thing anymore, which was really, really nice. It just kind of gave her something different to look forward to. They had a lot of different activities for each week. Like Friday, they always did like scavenger hunts. That would be educational. They did like math Mondays, artistic Tuesdays, that kind of thing. And she had a little layout for the kids. And then we have an app for our classroom where we could upload a picture of their work completed or what they did. And then the teacher could kind of check it and make sure everybody was doing their thing or like leave a little comment for them. So it's pretty neat. And she got to see her other school friends and what they kind of did with their homework as well. And then this day I started listening to the book Fairest, which is from the Lunar Chronicle series. Super, super good series if you guys needed something to listen to. Um, also great books. I love them. Very like Disney princess inspired, but definitely a very modern, modern take on it. Very like fantasy as well. So love that series. And then, you guessed it, we went to Tim Hortons again this day. And I just used a Prairie Girl to mark that. Then, in the evening, the kids played outside in the front yard, and I was reading uh, Joan of Arc. This was like one of those small little add-on books for the Nicholas Flamel series. It was really, really short, so I was able to actually read it. I am a very, very slow reader. It takes me a very long time to read books. That's why I do audiobooks, also because it's just something nice to do while I'm working. But it I am such a slow reader, so this was actually a book I was able to do. I think it was only like 100 pages or maybe even like 50. It was really short. So I was, I was reading that one, and I used a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker to mark that. And then for supper this day, we just ordered pizza, and then me and my husband watched Community in the evening. And that TV sticker is from Busy Lizzie Clemens. On Saturday was Jake's birthday. Super, super exciting, but a very different experience for a birthday during COVID. I know a lot of you probably understand. Um, so we just kind of did a lot of just chilling at home, which doesn't really bother my husband. He doesn't need like the big party or anything like that. Um, so I did a bunch of errands this day because I, Jake was finally home and I was able to kind of like go to the stores alone. We weren't taking our kids to any stores and I wanted to get them all done in one day so I could just like get them all done because it was such a chore I felt like to go into the stores. And then I bought his present this day as well. Then one of the things that I bought was a new shelf, like one of those cubicle shelves to put all my kids Lego in. And we totally reorganized their entire toy room they play a lot of Lego, but they had, it's like we had it really high up from like when they were little and they were old enough now that they can like take out each set and kind of put them away. So I found on Pinterest this cubicle shelf where they could put all their different Playmobil and Lego sets on there and then they have a drawer for each set that they could take out and put back. And then I set up a whole table in their toy room and it's been working amazing. They are able to play it more. They like coming back and not having to put everything away every single time. They can kind of like build like a whole little village. It looks really cool. So I am uh, marked assembling my shelf and then cleaning the toy room. Then in the evening, my parents FaceTimed us. They were doing that a lot just to kind of see the kids and to see us. And then me and Jake watched Netflix in the evening and I baked a carrot cake for his birthday. Uh, carrot cake is more his type of cake as opposed to like one of those ones with icing and stuff like that. So I made that for him. Then on Sunday, I spent the entire day baking cinnamon buns. And that um, mixer is from Planner Monkey Co. And then I just basically planned while I was waiting for the baking. And I used some planners from Be Happy Plans. 
And to mark that it was a super lazy day, I used a candle icon from Be Happy Plants as well. Then while I was planning, I was watching Gossip Girl. And then in the evening, we decided to watch the movie Inside Out. And while I was, we were doing that, I was making some stock labels for work, just some new labels to organize my stock functionals. And I need to make more already, but I definitely made a whole bunch, made some progress there, which was definitely one of my goals for quarter one, which I didn't quite get finished. Um, stay tuned, I will be doing an updated goals video for quarter um, so I think that was for quarter two, but I'm going to have an updated video for quarter three as well as my August goals coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be just kind of filling in the rest of the day and then doing my sidebar. For my sidebar, I used some more of that Simply Gilded Washi, the uh, floral pattern one. I used my gratitude tracker, which was definitely having some downtime my anxiety and currently reading, as well as the picture for the week is my daughter on her scooter and went for a walk on Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!